Hi, this is Rebecca Jones, and this is our first video post. Um, it is uh, BIB 100, Introduction to the Bible and Biblical Understanding. And our first question is about what are the relationships between Genesis creation story and modern scientific ideas about the origins of Earth and human life? So we know the Genesis story that God created the earth in six literal days, and we know uh, what uh, public school teaches us that um, that the earth was created over millions and billions of years of evolution, and um, we know that they the the relationship of these two thoughts are that they are in contrast. So they don't get along very well at all. And um, what I wanted to say is that um, I grew up in uh, church and in the Bible, and then I fell away, and I became a science major, pre-vet, and very interested in all ideas, uh, scientific, and uh, I, I don't know if I, I believed in um, evolution ever, but I did believe in uh, maybe it wasn't six literal days. Maybe it was six periods of time that were meant to be sun up and sun down that were billions of years. And, you know, I've I've struggled to reconcile uh, the, the creation story in Genesis with my own beliefs and one of the things that really helped me put this back together was the case for Christ when it said um, evolution coming up with uh, with um, with, uh, you know, working humans and everything like that is about the same as a tornado running through a junkyard and as assembling a fully working um you know, 747, ready to, ready to zoom off with gassed up and everything. And, and, and then, and then I was beginning to be able to take the, the building blocks of DNA and the protein folding and the locking key mechanisms and the phospholipid bilayers and all those, those crazy, deep, intricate pieces of biology that I learned in school and say, huh, you know what? More important, more more intelligent people than I could even think of believe in intelligent design. So therefore, there's no shame in believing in intelligent design. And I believe that was my my walk back to, hey, God did create the earth in six literal days. And you know, back to the question that I asked my mom when I was a kid, what about dinosaurs? You know, and my mom said, oh, it's the devil's trick um, to make to shake our faith in God. You know, as a as a 12 year old, I didn't I didn't buy that. I thought that was a cop out. So one of the things in the case for Christ that I really enjoyed was that they postulated that God created the earth with the appearance of age. Because otherwise, I mean, it dawned on me, otherwise, if we had this earth that we could see it was created in six literal days, then where is the faith? You know, if, if, if we have to have, we would have to have no faith if there was no history and, and we, you know, it just appeared. So we knew it just, we would know it just appeared. And so we would know that there's God. So then there's no faith. So I, that's, that was my, the beginning of my coming back was the case for Christ. And now that book was not, um, the best book when it, especially when it talks about, you know, hell is not a literal place. It's just separation from God. So watch out for that. Um, but it did help me reconcile my scientific side with, um, with the Bible um, I like how uh, page 19 describes um, our version refutes the deity of the sun and the moon and and states that God is not fickle or flawed. And I think that's real important in the in the ancient world, just as it's just as important today in this world that 
the Bible states that it's created in six literal days, refuting um, the scientific uh, theories. So um, I do like how um, the book says that that uh, the 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 Genesis story promotes stewardship, promotes that we were created in the image of God. Um, that is so counter to um, what we have in today's world, where we're just here to use the Earth until we uh, until it's destroyed and go find another planet to live on, and that we were made of dust or we were made of primordial ooze or whatever. So. But the biggest question I still have is, like, why did God create stuff? Why did God create us? I still think that, and this is where I'm I'm really hoping to dig in and, and refute these ideas, I still think that, that God was up there, who, who knows for how long he was, you know, in the world, I mean, in the, in the universe, just, just existing on his own. I, you know, and the thought is, did, did he get lonely? Is that why he created us? You know, I suppose the answer is that he knew that he would love us. He knew us before he even created us. So, you know, that's going to be the answer that I'm going to end up with. But, uh, you know, I take a look around and, and even the book says this, that the world is so broken. I love that how it says on page 28, we know our world is supposed to be better. So the world is so broken. You just take a look around and say, you know, why did God bother? So um, I hope that those questions will be answered as we continue on in the class. Thanks for letting me share. Sorry if some of the stuff I said uh, hurt or offended you. I've, you know, I've had my my time in and out of the faith and I'm, I'm back in. I just, you know, I'm my... The renewing of my mind is a process, so please be gracious with me. Thank you very much. Bye.